Hello guys and welcome to Watching Time. Today I'm going to discuss something that usually I wouldn't like to discuss about watches. Um, usually because when I do a review and an evaluation of something that is part of my collection, I like highlighting the positive aspects that actually make the watch become part of my collection. Uh, and the type of feel and you know happiness and joy that this watch or this particular movement or characteristics are going to bring to uh, to this new addition uh, but sometimes i encounter things that should be addressed on the watches sometimes i encounter quality control problems uh, and sometimes like in this case i encounter something that oris should get their game back on on improving because it's a pity that it's going to be dropping hugely the way we are perceiving the brand because of something that it's just part of an error probably on the quality control of the watches they are releasing particularly in the way they are stepping up their play and their game and going into something that we watch lovers and passionates really appreciate which is having a watch industry company developing their own movements and developing their own movement with new technology, uh, new characteristics that definitely put it forward. So this is a pity and it's really a pity that I find myself doing this type of video. So just to tell you all guys the background story behind it, I recently fell in love with the ProPilot new version that was released by Oris this ProPilot X and the three new colorways that they released. So we have a blue one, which is very, very nice point of blue, a melon kind of salmon color and the gray one, which is actually the most stealth of them all. Um, just taking a look at my collection, I decided that probably the piece to get into my collection in terms of colorway was the gray one. So I actually uh, contacted my local vendor, authorized dealer, and they provide me obviously the green version. I will do another video, guys, to highlight the positive aspects. Uh, I'm not going, I don't want to really keep it, keep it long because there are a lot and a lot of good things that I would like to say about this watch, uh, particularly on the design, keeping the ProPilot uh, DNA with the bezel the turbine-like shape also of the back case, the uh, screw-down crown, the kind of integrated bracelet uh, characteristic that it gives to you, even if it's not really an integrated bracelet, um, the shape and the way the bracelet tapers down in a very nice, stylish way, the clasp, which is, I think, absolutely gorgeous design, to look like an airplane clasp and the strongest piece the movement the movement which is an in-house you know the the new oris caliber 400 for the first time in the pro pilot series uh and this is actually the point that i really pains me a lot and that i would like to discuss with all of you so as a matter of fact maybe some of you that are already watching the video have noticed that there is something a little bit weird on the movement. Uh, maybe not. It's something that you can see from the angle of the camera only at certain uh, angles of light. So for the ones of you that have not yet noticed, while I was admiring admiring the, the movement, I noticed something very, very, very weird that I was not used to seeing on a watch and I really love looking at the movements. So first of all, the movement works great. There is not, I have at least not find a functionality problem on this movement. Um, so it beats right, everything is correct, but if you have a look here, do you see that kind of a smudge on the bridge? Well, yep, I actually went in depth I'm going to post some pictures also on the video that are a little bit better in terms of high resolution uh, macro. 
and it seems to be, I have no idea because I have not obviously opened the case. This is a brand new watch. Uh, it seems to be a scratch inside of the bridge. If it's not a scratch, it's a very big because it seems actually 3D uh, sm smudge probably caused by uh, grease is the only thing that I can thought of. Uh, and that really pities me a lot. First of all, because it should have been spotted during the quality control of this watch movement. People should have noticed there is something wrong here on the bridge. It's one of the, and it actually looks like a, like a scratch. Huh? Uh, also on the macro, it seems like it's small scratch. So I repeat, it doesn't alter the movement in terms of functionality, but definitely it makes you wonder why they didn't notice this. And if there is something like that on the movement, what tells me that actually there is not other mistakes that I am not seeing right now because of the cover up that the movement has and the solid pieces. This is a real pity, a real pity for a buyer, because if you find yourself in this situation, you will have to get your watch, which is an excellent watch. Very nice. You have all the materials. Uh, obviously, apart from the color, we are getting the caliber 400. This is the caliber 400 slash two movement. So it's actually a step up of the normal caliber 400 that some of you remember had a problem when you were setting the time. Um, so that was something that has been addressed. It doesn't have any more that weird movement that was done on one of the of the hands. Uh, but now. I find this quality control issue and as a buyer, as I'm saying, even if you have a 10 year warranty on the movement that they are giving you, so saying, telling you also that it need, doesn't need any type of maintenance for at least 10 years and they put a 10 years warranty because of that, because they are very proud on their in-house movement and everything, having this type of detail on the watch that was not noticed, it's a pity because it tells you a lot on how rushed they were probably to deliver these watches, how rushed Oris was on um, finalizing the production for not noticing, noticing a detail that will give them a problem in terms of recognition, but will also create a problem for me as a buyer. Yes, they will solve it. But nowadays, as far as I know, if I send this watch back to Oris, the service time for them to get it back, double check on everything and give you back a watch that you have sent for maintenance or whatever, is going to take at least three months. This is crazy for someone that has just bought a new watch. I want to use my watch. I want to have it and it's new. Why should someone put their hands on it? do a maintenance or whatever because of a mistake that was part of the quality control. So I have not tested guys to tell you the truth, the Oris response on this. I tried to contact them on Instagrams, no answer. Uh, some people tell me contact them on Twitter. I find it a little bit weird. Uh, and people tell me, you know, the process will be for that to happen. Those three months. I, I, once I tried to buy a leather strap from them and it took almost three months also. Uh, and in this type of cases, probably a policy should be made that if there is an error in a watch that is brand new, you change it immediately with something new so that the client has a watch back immediately. Anyway, uh, I thought the easiest thing to do was to contact back my dealer, my authorized dealer, to tell them the problem, to have them manage the problem and to have immediately a new watch. Obviously, they didn't have any other gray dials because uh, it was limited in terms of the amount of pieces that they receive. Uh, so I decided to exchange it for the Salmon one. I am happy I did so also because the Salmon one, I think it looks really, really nice. It's a really, really nice color. The gray, and that's going to be part of another video in terms of the colorways and how they play. But even if it's more stealthy and you are seeing it right now through the lens of a cell phone, I can assure you guys that on certain lights, it's very difficult to read. The Salmon one is right on there. You will see your time wherever you are. And it's a fun 
summer color that I think will definitely fit with uh, with the lack of colors that sometimes you might have on the collection. I have a lot of gray watches, so having a salmon one added to the collection, I think was at the end a nice solution for myself. I really, really enjoy it and I have been enjoying it since. So the question that I can bring to myself is, did I found a problem with this one compared to the gray one? And, and luckily for me, the answer is, yes, I did. <laughs> So that brings me back to the quality control again of Oris. So I'm going to show you something, guys. I really hope that you can hear it. So once you take out the crown from one position, you go into the first position, which is the one that winds the watch. So this is usually used for winding. And in the case of this Propilot X, the winding, it's obviously, it has two barrels. So it takes a long time also because you have the five days power reserve. And as you have seen, I have put it on the first position and just try to hear. I don't know if you hear these guys on the cell phone, uh, but I can definitely feel it on my fingers. It immediately goes into the gear position that winds the watch. So you can feel it because you feel the and you feel actually the gears grinding which is the movement that it does. I'm going to show you back on the movement. Just have a good eye onto this spot. If I wind the watch, the gear connects and it turns on the barrel. If I go anti-clockwise, you have no winding. And actually this safe lever here goes down so that it doesn't engage the gear. So here you will not hear anything or feel anything it just goes empty because you're not winding anything if you turn there it is it's perfectly winding and this lever goes up so it actually engages the gear you see the movement up down up down focus on this one guys up down up gearing winding down no winding so in this sense, this watch works perfectly fine. And that's what it's supposed to be doing on that first position. And you can see it also here in the manual. So you have the close down process, screw down position, the first position, winding position. The second one is for date, the third is for timing. So now guys, I'm going to show you my Salmon. If I go up, this is the first position, the crown comes, pops up quite nicely and I start winding. So right now it entered the year. Here it's not unwinding. Uh -huh. And here you probably don't hear it because there's nothing to hear. It's not winding, now it's winding. So it actually had at least four to five total turns without winding. The year was not engaging. Here it's still engaging. When I leave it and I go back, I go back. This time it actually went through. Now it doesn't. And now it goes through. So this is weird compared to the other watch. I'm going to show you here, guys, with the lever. So right now it's not winding because I'm going anti-clockwise. So no turn on the barrel and the position of the lever goes down. I go back and you saw that it took a little bit to go up. Now I go back down, I go, aha, uh -huh. you see that guys, the lever is not going up and it's not winding. It's not winding still. It's not winding still. You see it guys, this is the, and now it has engaged and now it's winding. So I cannot say the watch is faulty because at the end of the day, it is winding the watch, but it's not winding the watch immediately. There is something that's not right. It should have engaged immediately on the lever and start winding. Obviously, once it has engaged, it keeps engaged. And it's, this watch takes at least three to four to five turns to actually engage the lever. Uh, it's something that the gray one does not. It goes immediately on the engage section. So as you see right now, it's engaged. So it's still engaging. If I go back, it disengage on the anti-clockwise. Then I go back and it's not engaging until now. You saw that, go back 
and not engage until now. That's, you know, right now here it's engaging, disengaging, engaging, disengaging, maybe because I'm doing it slow. Right now it's not engaging and then it engages. There's something weird. I don't see any scratches or smudges on sight of this movement, so it's perfectly working fine. I'm going to put this, put this back on my wrist. Uh, really sorry guys, I'm going to do another video review on the watch itself and the feelings and everything, all the nice things, because I think it's an excellent watch. The design is really, really nice. Um, the color, it's fantastic. Uh, but I had to show you guys these two things that I noticed. Obviously this is going back to service, back to the dealer right now, so that they manage whatever they need to manage with Oris. I don't want to be part of that circuit uh they should fix it uh but it's a pity and i'm i'm really sorry that it got into my hands because i'm also reviewing my collections uh i would have liked to have a watch that was working properly with no details like that uh it's a pity that i got it but uh there is a solution obviously solution in which i'm very happy but at the at the end of the day there is also a problem here with the movement. I'm going to be quiet still. I have 10 years warranty. I don't think it's a biggie, but definitely it's something that the movement shouldn't be doing. So probably in some time I will be contacting Oris to understand what's going on. Uh, but right now I'm going to enjoy the watch. So anyway, guys, if you have any comments, sorry, this is a long video at the end because I wanted to showcase these details, uh, but just let me know what you think and uh, let's, Drop me some messages if you want. Uh, I again say it's really a pity because Oris is a brand that I recognize a lot, that I like. I have Aquis, I have several models in my collection. Having something that is wrong in terms of quality control, it's something that really pity myself because I, I, am, I am vouching for Oris. I want Oris to succeed. I want Oris to come with more in-house movements, more complications, to come down to be what they are building a strong player in watchmaking and horology. Uh, and overall, I think Oris should be doing that. They have everything. They have the history, they have the designs, they have the unique models. Why are not they concentrating on the quality control? Who knows? Probably they become alive and contact us and tell me something about it. Uh, I will keep you updated, obviously, guys. So until then, please take care and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.